It was 50 years ago, 1969. This game involves a basketball Hall of Famer, one of the greatest shots in the history of the sport, a United States Senator, and a game between Westbrook and Caribou that was tied with 10 seconds to play. 10 seconds to go, score tied. Back comes Douglas. Douglas goes to the foul line, he shoots, it is. No good, rebound, Caribou goes to Thurston. Thurston with two seconds will shoot the big guard, if that's good, he scores! good! Caribou wins it! And this was the most fantastic basketball game that I have ever seen in 20 years of basketball. What a great shot. 31 years later, Mike Thurston is still shooting hoops as a phys ed teacher in the Old Town school system. People approach him all the time to talk about his amazing shot, which gave Caribou its first and only state title in boys basketball. I don't think it surprised me really because the people of Maine are such basketball fans. They don't let good basketball kinds of things die. And I've been visible for a lot of years refereeing basketball right here. So I, I'm not surprised that, that, that the shot has lived on from now, they'll be marking the point on the floor that Mike Thurston shot that shot. Right, that's a great shot. But it's not as great a memory in Westbrook. Matt Donahue averaged around 30 points a game for the Blue Blazers in 1969. He spends his days now making art instead of jump shots, but he still recalls his emotions from that day. I mean, you can, you know, you're a little sad about it, but geez, you ought to be a little happy for the guy, right? And, and plus, after all these years, I mean, everything you read about um, you know, how much that meant to everybody up there. You know, I, I think that was pretty cool. You know, it makes me want to get out of the, <laughs> out of the seat even now. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Maine Senator Susan Collins was a sophomore at Caribou and never missed a game, home or away. She was one of the hundreds of people that mobbed the floor after the game-winning shot because for Caribou, it was more than just winning a game. So when Caribou won the state championship that year, I can't tell you what a boost it was to the community. And it really was something that gave a real boost to morale. It was something that was such a source of community pride. Not only that year, it's still a source of pride in Caribou. As it turns out, what some people called a lucky shot maybe wasn't so lucky after all. Just two days before the state title game, Thurston hit an even longer shot in a scrimmage against Presque Isle. After hearing about that, I had to see it for myself. So Mike and I recreated the magic moment, and guess what happened? Westbrook's got the ball. You take your last shot. The fish. Peter gets the rebound. I clap for the basketball, knowing there's not much time left. Take three or four dribbles and shoot it. Did you get it? 31 years from now, I'll try it one more time just for you. <laughs> oh, that's so, right. I did that story 19 years ago. Caribou still hasn't won a state championship oh. since that 1969 game. They are still alive. They're currently alive in the tournament. They're playing in a regional championship game. So it could happen now. But when Mike Thurston, I made him take that shot just to see what would happen. On the very first try, he hit the back of the rim. And that went in on the third take. I mean, wow. and he made I said, this is unbelievable. So That was unbelievable. I, I'm going to try to circle back with him maybe another 10 years you or so. Should. We'll try that you again. The, so the I'll be wheeling both everything. of us out there. That's like the best thing we've run in a yeah, long time. That's good stuff. Yeah. So. That was we so talked much. about how your voice sounds exactly the same. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of kids ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't look the same. <laughs>